Okay, so it says, what is the square root of 164 in simplified radical form? Okay, so anytime you're trying to find the square root of something, if you remember what I said from previous classes, you have 164, you take what you call your um, least common multiple, right? So when you have your least common multiple, what that means is you're going to think of prime numbers, right? I know prime numbers come back um, way from middle school, but we need to pick the numbers that typically only has a factor of itself or one, so that's prime numbers, because we want to make sure that when you're trying to have that square root, as you can see over here, when you have prime numbers, it just it's just easier for you to group the numbers together as opposed to having 10 and 8, right? Because if we can simplify, for example, 10 and 8 in terms of the base of 2, right? That just makes it easier for us to group numbers. That's the whole point of trying to find factors that are prime numbers, right? It's just for the sake of grouping. So if you have 164, we know that we can divide this with 2 because it's an even number, right? And how do I know it's an even number? Because it ends in 4. And 4 is an even number. So 164 divided by 2, that gives us 82. And again, 82 is an even number, so we can still use 2. So 82 is divisible by 2, so 82 divided by 2, we get 41. And finally, we know that 41 is a prime number. You can't really think of any factors aside from 41 and 1, right? So that makes it a prime number. Therefore, because we're taking the square root, right? Yeah, so here it says square root of 164. So remember what I said, you're supposed to group your factors as a pair because you're taking the square root. And what happens here is you take the positive and negative value of that square root and you are able to take out that 2 and then you have square root of 41. And why that occurs is because if you have the positive and negative value of the square root of 2 times 2 times 41, you're going to see that this is actually equal to the square root of 4. And what happens here is if you have the square root of 4, right, that becomes just 2, right? And that's the whole point of grouping. I think it's just easier that way. So you would have square root of 4, right? Then you multiply this to the square root of 41. So that's what happens. So when you split that up, that's still going to be 2, right? And make sure anytime you're taking the square root of something, you need to have that positive or negative value. Okay, so this, um, they're saying 2 square root of 41. Yeah, so perfect solution and answer. I have nothing to correct, so... Solution is correct.